A $2 billion space experiment may be paying off now that NASA has just announced a discovery that could possibly revolve around dark matter. Ivan Semenik is our science reporter. What exactly is dark matter? Well, that's what all the scientists in the world would love to know. We know it's out there because it exerts a gravitational pull on things we can see, on stars and galaxies and everything else that's out there, but we don't actually know what it is. To give you a sense of how important this is, imagine, I've got a little packet of sugar here, imagine if all the matter in our galaxy was reduced down to this one packet of sugar. Here's how much dark matter is in the galaxy, about five times as much. Never been seen, we don't know what identity it is, if it's a particle, we don't know what kind of particle, but it's the majority of what's out there. And, you know, this is one of the biggest problems in physics today. So, we just previously have never been able to measure or quantify this dark matter, and yet we know it exists in some way. How do we know it exists? Just because of its gravitational pull, just because it's tugging on things we can't see. So it's like a ghost, you know, it's like something tapping you on your shoulder, but you turn around and there's nothing there. It gives off no light, so we can't see it. If, if there's any around, for example, if there's some passing through this room, it would pass right through us, we wouldn't feel it. It just lives a separate existence apart from ordinary matter. And so the way that this discovery has come about is through an alpha magnetic spectrometer. Can you describe how that works? Sure, this is a special experiment on the space station. It's basically a giant magnet that's pulling in particles that are coming from deep space. Now these are ordinary bits of matter, but they're flying at very high speed. What the experiment has found is that at a particular energy range, there's an excess, there's a larger than expected number of a certain kind of particle, a positron. This is sort of a, like an electron, but with a positive charge. Positrons are ordinary matter, actually they're antimatter, but they're, they're, we understand what they are. The question is, why are there more of them than expected? Where could they be coming from? There really are only two possible explanations. One is something called a pulsar, which is basically a stellar corpse that's spinning very fast, and it can accelerate particles. That's sort of the mundane explanation, although that's already kind of exciting. The really exciting explanation is that it might be dark matter. Now, how would dark matter produce this? Imagine two particles of dark matter, both totally invisible to us. They collide with each other, and the burst of energy of that collision spits out positrons which now the space station experiment is discovering or detecting. So if that's the explanation, this really is the beginning of a new chapter in physics. It means a new domain of matter has been discovered, and they say it might take another year or two to be sure, but certainly they will solve this problem one way or the other from the space station experiment. Thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you.